How y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. You know what? Although I love the summertime, I adore the wintertime. And I'll tell you why. I love it when the weather just dips a little bit. Can you know why? It gives me an excuse to make a soup. Yes, and that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to make a nice, rich, and hearty, lightish, but delicious soup for you. Now, you know me. When I be shopping, I be going out looking for a bargain. Because that's, I'm sorry, I, I live on bargains. I have to. Until I make it where I need to really, really, really be, I'm on a bargain. But you know what? I think even if I make it where I really, really, really want to be, I'm still going to be looking for a bargain. Just like you need to. And this was my bargain. I found this massive uh, uh, broccoli. And it was in the specials bin. But it, that's because it is a little bit special. It's got a little bit pieces that are going off. Just get a little bit beyond their date. All I'm going to do is cut those off. And I'm going to turn it into a soup. And I thought we would make a nice kind of broccoli with potato, swede, and onion soup. <laughs> Sounding good to me. All right. So, first thing first, what I need to do is I've got to get me a nice hot, hefty pan. Put it on. Turn it on. To my pan, I'm going to add some olive oil. Just a little bit. Let me turn this camera here on. I got me two cameras going. I'm going to see if I can do this. Is that working? Y'all give me just a minute. I'm trying to be technical here. I'm flying solo today. Katrina's still in the hospital. Is that picking it up? Yeah, got the potato. So I'm trying to do some multitasking. Alright, so to my oil. First thing, obviously, love dust. You need to get that love dust going. Burn off them spices. And to the love dust, I'm going to do some onion. And this can be coarsely chopped because we will be blitzing it up. Blitzing it up. Blitzing it up. Blitzing it up to make soup. Ow! So, in with the onion. This potato, another one from the bargain book. It's got a little few bits, so let's just cut those off. And then we're going to just dice this up because remember, we're making soup, okay? So we want to boil it up so we don't want it to be too big because we don't want to take too long to do it for one. Cut those in half. So we're just doing them kind of like in cubes. Take that, throw it straight to the pan, all right? Okay, and then let me get a heftier knife because this swede is a little bit harder to come by. Let's cut that end off. Oh, these are two pieces of potato I can use. Throw those in. Let's cut that end off of my swede. Okay, I think the swede over here, I, I'm not sure if it's called a swede in America. It might be. It might be. It's close to like a turnip. Okay. So let's just get this, cut it down small. Now the swede is going to add a lot of um, sweetness to this soup, okay? Let's get this, throw it in. Oh, yum a dum dum And then I've got here some garlic. I'm going with the lazy kind, lazy garlic. It's even called, well, it's called easy garlic. Some people call it lazy, some call it easy. I call it convenient. All right, so a nice big dash of garlic in there. Woo! Let's give that a stir. Okay, I'm going to pick up this camera here. Because I can't do no close-ups with that one. I'm just going to take this one and show you the pot. So, okay, there you go. So that's just our potatoes, sweet, and garlic. Let's put this back here. Oh, one potato missing. We don't want nobody being missing. Not in Mama's kitchen. Everybody's invited. Don't worry, potato. You're going in. So let's slice that potato up. Slice her up. Woo! Mmm! Now, 
I'm going to show you why I season that pot. Because, can y'all see that? All oh, that goodness. Can you see that goodness? Mmm. Yummy, yummy, dum, dum. So now, for the broccoli, star of the chef. Let's cut that thin stalk bit off. Let's cut it in half. Yeah, see, you need to cut it in half because you can see there's some bits here that ain't right. But there's a lot about this that is right. And I want y'all to get used to just, you know, sometimes you got to do a little bit extra prep, but it's worth it. Just take off the yellow bits. Great. Now let's just take those, toss those straight in. Okay, let's see this. Yep, looking good. Let's get it in. Cut that bit off. Put it in. And then just go here. Okay, we're going to leave this stalk completely out because it ain't good. You can see. Ain't good. But ain't nothing wrong with the top part. So let's use it. I know a whole lot of people that would just toss this in the bin. Why? And these days and times right now when money can be tight, you know, you got to get it right. You just got to learn how to do the way our ancestors did. You just got to put a little bit of work and effort in it. But it's worth it. Okay, let's get this in. Okay, so this part here, there's a bit that I can use that, and I can use that. Just a little bit there. No, let's get that piece off. Take that piece off. And that's good. Let's put it in. Okay. So, all of this I don't need. To get me some. Woo! Don't worry, that was just my paper towel holder falling. Wipe my hands. So, now, I'm going to come back here. I'm just going to give it a touch more oil. I'm going to give this a stir. Mmm, yum, yum. Let's pick up this camera here. Oh, no. Have you gone off on me? Why you turn off? I didn't tell you to turn yourself off. Let's turn this one back on. All right, now it's back on. Are you recording? Now you're recording. All right, so see, there you can see the pop. Let me just take this and shut this up. There we go. All right, so in the pot you can see there broccoli, potatoes, garlic. But it's missing something. Yes, it is. It's missing stock. So we've just got some water here, and we're going to add that. Nice. You don't want to put too much in because we are going to actually blitz it in that, okay, using that water. Now, I found this the other today is a Swiss vegetable bouillon powder, which is really nice for adding to soup. So we're going to just put some of this in. It's a vegetable one. So that kind of gives us our stock. A bit more. And now, all we got to do now is let that come to a boil so all our vegetables are nice and soft. And then, we're going to add a touch of cream and blitz it. And then, eat it. And this can be topped with croutons or some crispy bacon. Or you can just leave it vegetarian. Okay? As it is right now. Wait a minute. Before I say it, let me check this. Make sure this is... Yeah, it's suitable for vegetarians. Probably not vegans because it don't say vegan. But if you leave this out, it would probably even be suitable for a vegan. Okay? So, I will come back to you once everything is cooked. See you in a minute. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, mercy, mercy. Look at here. I left the potato. And I told y'all, don't nobody get left behind. Let me slice this potato on up in here. 
Because these were old potatoes, so I need to cook these. So let's get these into my soup. Alright, nothing left on the table? No. Nothing but a mess. Let me clean my mess up. I'll be right back to you. Let me clean up my mess. I'm all by myself. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Let's turn it off. peeps and welcome back. Our soup mixture has now boiled and boiled. Everything is soft and everything is ready. So now the only thing left to do is we're going to add a little bit of cream and we're going to blitz this soup up and taste it. So here we go. Put that in. Yes, here we go. So First thing I'm going to do is just check it. Yeah. Everything. Oh, this is going to be a thick soup because it almost boiled out all of the um, stock. So, let's add mm, yummy, 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 some sour cream. I think it's going to need a touch more salt. Some salt. A little bit of fresh black pepper. And now, let's get in there and blitz it up. And once, because I'm blitzing it, this is something that Katrina can have because she has difficulty with vegetables digesting them. But when they're pureed, this will be a really nice soup for her. Oh, oh, oh. Much more, just a little bit more liquid because it is quite thick and a little bit thinner. And I think it needs a touch of blood dust, baby. Yeah, okay. Now let's blitz a little bit more. Let's try this soup. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. It is delicious. I'll tell you how it would be even better, though, for me. With a bit of crispy bacon on the top. So I think I'm going to cook me some bacon. Some cornbread. And I'm going to have me a bowl of this soup. So, guys, 
All I can say to you is, wait a minute. Whoops. Whoa, Lord. Let me just show it to you in a bowl because you can't get, you're not really getting a full effect. There. Look how creamy it is. Look at that. Just that. <sighs> Lovely. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. So guys, a little bit of peace. Whole lot of love from the mama. Cat in the hospital. Please, try this soup. It's yummy, yummy, delicious.